Hey guys, it's the Actuals and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I want to talk about the Inno Gear boom arm, a budget boom arm that is about $12 to $13 varying price, obviously. Um, this is one of the boom arms that beginners buy uh, just getting into the world of microphone stands and stuff like that. And so I want to do my review. I've owned this specific model for about... Uh, a year now and I've owned previous ones for two years um, so I'm pretty familiar with these types of you know kind of cheap you know reliable um, you know just you know just ones that you buy once and you, know, you really forget about it, it probably breaks in, breaks in a couple of years um, so I am familiar with this and I just want to say some things about it so these are the cheap $13 boom arms you find on Amazon um, and I'm gonna give you guys the use case why I'd buy this and the pros and cons so these, so you might know the more like expensive ones, like the hundred dollar ones, the blue Yeti, uh, the blue Yeti, the blue um, Compass, and the Rode PSA One. Those are you know great options uh, for the price, but not everybody is willing to pay that much, and not everybody wants that. Generally speaking, um, so a lot of people go with this route, and honestly, I don't blame them. Um, the things in between, we're not really gonna mention because they're just like in betweens. Like nobody really talks about them. Um, most people talk about you know gear stuff like this. So there are some things I want to point out and just give you guys general like pros and cons. So we're gonna be differentiating them from the more expensive boom arms. And yes, so I haven't used any more expensive boom arms like the hundred dollar ones or anything in between. However, I can give my take on them and just give you guys my personal opinions. Um, so yeah, so first thing I want to mention is the noise. Um, after I'd say about three to four months of use, also depending on the weight of your microphone, these springs right here will develop a creaking noise, inevitably meaning that it will happen. Um, the time in which it happens is, of course, a random variable, but it will probably most likely happen if you're using even uh, a, a pretty light microphone in uh, the world, the standard here. So these springs will cause noise. I can try to give you guys a demo. As you guys can hear, it's just it's just really bad. Um, it only happens with the microphone attached and with the gravity constantly pulling down. Um, so yes, that that will happen. Um, this kind of like quality of issue uh, problems that you're gonna get for 13 bucks. But hey, um, the pros here is that it's you know functional. It works. Okay, although it makes noise, it works. If you're not moving the mic, it'll stay where it wants to stay. And yes, and it can hold the Blue Yeti, although it is hard for the boom arm uh, to hold it. It won't drag down, it'll just it'll just be really bad for spring noise. Um, the springs are outside, meaning if you were to touch them, it will make noise. I did do a kind of duct tape mod to it, so it's a lot less. I'll show you guys how to do that if you guys want request in the comments below. But generally speaking, it will make noise. So that's uh, another comparison. The Rode PSA1 doesn't have any outside springs. Um, neither does the uh, the compass, the blue compass. So those are some things to keep in mind. The build quality in terms of the metal, the metal is fine. Um, you know, I haven't had any stripping problems with any of the screws. Um, you can't really adjust any of these, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and if you can, it's pretty... It's not very innovative because I haven't figured it out and I've looked everywhere on this boom arm. Um... The stand here, this is one of the quality control things as well, is that make sure that when you attach this to a desk, you have something in between. For me, I'm going to put an image up right now on my editing software. You can see that I actually use some Little Caesars napkins, but anything will work. Um, this is a little kind of bootleg way. I mean, honestly, you should probably use something else like, I don't know, like thin paper. You can even glue it, um, glue paper to the bottom of it to make it better. Um, and yeah, and by the way, the reason it doesn't look like the one uh, here is because I'm simply using a from uh, this one from another stand that was a little bit more expensive, about 40 bucks, I believe. Um, I ended up throwing it away because it had the same issues and it was just horrible. It was for really heavy mics, but the stand was great. So I ended up switching it out. So these are two different boom arms sort of put together. Um, and also this paint job that I did on the boom arm itself, I just used a little bit of spray paint. And for the writings, I used Posca pens. So then that's the little comparisons for the little threading here. Again, this will fit the Blue Yeti. I'm not sure about the Shure SM7B, but it will work for the Blue Yeti. This is long enough. Um, the length for this is sort of a concern for Shure SM7B users. I'm not completely sure if it'll work, but uh, you guys are going to have to do your own research there uh, and make sure it works, um, obviously. Um, so yeah, these are basically, the best way I can describe it is it's a bunch of 
It's a little, it's two steel rods attached together with this anchor, screwed together, made in China. You know, it's, it's, it'll, the, to, for a quick summary of if you should buy this, yes. I mean, if you are a beginner and you're not trying to invest hundreds of dollars into a boom arm and you just want something reliable, functional, and will be a hassle, but if you do some of the, the hacks and stuff, it, it'll, it'll be better then yes, go ahead and purchase this boom arm. It's a great option uh, for the price, especially. Um, you know, I would expect something like this to be a little bit more expensive. Not the specific model or whatever, but like this type of shebang. Um, I'd expect this price to be at least 50 for the stand. So it's very cheap. It's reliable. Um, I, I should, uh, recommend you guys to pick this up. Peace out.